Hi friends, welcome to Tech Trends. In this video, we can see how to store the temperature and humidity values in database and display the values in a website. Let's get started. The components required for this experiment are Node MCU board, temperature and humidity sensor, connecting wires and connecting cable. Now connect the temperature and humidity sensor with the Node MCU board. Connect the plus pin with 3 volt and connect the out pin with pin D4 and connect the minus pin with ground pin. Now let's see the connection. This is our circuit connection. Now we can see how to set up the database and how to upload the project files to the hosting. Log into your web hosting. So this is the hosting of HostGator. Now click on list accounts. This is my domain. Search for this domain and click on the find button. Now click on the control panel. First we need to create the database. For that, go to MySQL databases. Here we need to create a new database. Here enter the database name. Now click on create database. Now database is created and this is our database name. Now go back and create a new user. Now we can generate a password. This is our password. Copy this password and click use password. Now paste the password here. So this is a config file. Here we need to enter the host name username, password and the database name. Now we entered password and then we need to enter the other details also. Go back and click create user. Now go back again and assign that user to the database which we created. This is the user and this is the database. Now click on this add button and select all privileges and click make changes. Now go back. So this is our database name. Copy this database name here. Password we already copied. And this is our username. And host name we need to enter as localhost and here we need to give a project key you can give any key and we need to use the same key in our code this both keys should be same now the config file is ready now we need to create the table for that Go to the main page of the control panel and click PHP My Admin. Here it will list the database which we created. Click on that database and go to SQL. Here we need to copy 
this statement to create the table. Paste here and click go button. Now click on this refresh button. You can see the table is created. Now we need to go to back to the control panel main page and we need to create a subdomain because we are displaying the values of this temperature and humidity under a subdomain. Click on the subdomains and here give any name. I am giving the name as tech trends. So the domain name should be techtrends.etechnopark.com. Etechnopark is the main domain. Click on create. Now the subdomain is created. Now go back to the main page and click on file manager. Here you can see a folder is created with techtrends.etechnopark.com. Open this one and upload the project files. So these are the files. So we need to copy all these four files. Click this upload button and click select file and upload these files. Now we have created the database and uploaded the project files to the hosting. Now we need to upload the program to the ESP8266 board. Before that we need to enter the server name here. So this is the domain name and the, this is the page name where we are going to display the output. Sensor data.php is the output file name. Now select the board from tools. Here the board is selected and select the port and upload the program to the node MCU board. Now the program is uploaded and we can check the output. 